Hello do it yourselfers Terry Peterman the internet electrician here on my way down the bumpy old road in Costa Rica to a friend's home today's video we're gonna install a surge suppressor so stay with me let's get this job done All right, so here in Costa Rica in the rainy season, we get some awfully spectacular lightning storms. And while they're kind of fun to watch, albeit they can scare the crap out of you at times, the downside, of course, is that it can take out sensitive electronic equipment, components in your appliances, it can affect your television, your computer, your internet modem. So let's get over there and get this installed and see if that maybe can help out with some of those nasty spikes. So here's the surge protector we installed in this panel. It's an Eaton surge protector model CHSPT2 Ultra. So this is, needs to be fed as per the instructions with a two pole 50 amp breaker. So we've got that installed. Due to some complications here at the site, we weren't able to show you the entire process. There was a lot of people around, but I'm just gonna explain it to you because it's actually quite an easy process that with the proper safety precautions, any do-it-yourselfer can take on this project. So here it is mounted through a knockout on the side of the panel. Okay, so going to the installation of this device, it's for a surface mount panel. So all it has is a half inch threaded hub on it, goes into a knockout in the panel. And you can see it back there, knockout coming through with a lock ring on it. And it has four wires. It has a red, a black, a white, and a green. So the green will go to the green panel bus bar that's attached right to the panel where all your bare or green wires should be attached. Your white will go to the neutral bus bar and your black and red go to the breaker itself. In this case, a 50 amp two pole breaker. So that's all there is to the installation of it. Make sure, of course, you shut the power off or you're very careful when you're installing this. If you've got a main breaker, shut it off or go to where the main breaker is. Make sure the panel is dead when you're working in here because it's pretty easy to inadvertently touch your knuckles onto those hot lugs there or anywhere on the bus bar inside this panel. So once you've got it installed, you turn on the breaker. And when you've got two green lights, that shows that the surge protector is powered on. If you don't have a light on those, green, on those two green lights on one or the other, that means it took a hit that it didn't survive. But hopefully all your appliances and electronics survived and you need to replace that surge protector. But as you can see, we have two green lights. We are protected. And hopefully that'll take care of any transient spikes from lightning or any other source that might come down the utility line. All right, so thanks for watching this video. I hope that you liked the video. And if you do, give it that like, that thumbs up, and make sure if you're not already that you subscribe to my channel. Now, uh, I wish I would have given you a little more detail, but hey, if you've got any questions or comments, just throw them down in the comments below and I will answer them as I can get to them. So again, thanks for watching. Time to hit the road. I just checked the temperature. It's 40 degrees Celsius here today which for our American friends or anybody else who uses the Fahrenheit scale, which we Canadians kind of bounce between both, 104 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going back to the house. Time to jump in the pool. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.